we'll just start with our neck stretches. And you can mute yourselves. Did you mute your you, you can go ahead and mute yourselves and go ahead and put music on if you want to. And we'll turn to the right and turn to the left. We're getting that neck warmed up. And we'll go, let's go forward. So what I'm doing here, moving forward and back, almost like a chicken. So we're doing that, we're going forward and back, side and side. See so if you can go all the way around and go the other way. This will be using some new muscles. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyway, and then we'll just go ahead and circle the head. Now my neck is snap, crackle, and popping. And I think I'm just gonna have to do a side stretch again because that was a little bit too much. Hopefully I won't regret that. And I'm gonna do a diagonal forward. Oh, that feels good. And diagonal forward. And one of the things you wanna be sure of, if you do have a tendency to slouch forward, when you do these neck exercises, make sure that you, that you bring, you squeeze that scapula together. Let's just go ahead and do a few of those squeezes. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together as I do this. I'm just squeezing here. And this is just good for strengthening and it keeps your posture nice and upright. So you wanna make sure that you're using those shoulder blades to keep your shoulders back as you do all of this stuff. That's important. And we'll go ahead and roll the shoulders. And forward a little bit. And up and down. And then let's go ahead and isolate from the rib cage. So I'm trying to, trying to just go side to side. That. And we'll go forward and back, and forward and back. Now we'll go front, side, back, side, front, and reverse it. See if you can just keep going in a continuous circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and get on the floor. together. And what I do with my breathing is I take an inhale while I'm vertical and an exhale while I'm stretching to the side. Always breathe out, exhale on the stretch. And in between the inhale, let's go ahead and do second position. We'll go ahead and do our, we'll bring our legs together on our side. We're going to do our slow rolling down. So bend the knees. Don't let the, the legs go out, but keep them in a nice parallel. Reach forward with the arms, and we're just going to go as slowly to the floor as we can. And from here, we're just going to send that heel along the floor. And come up, we'll come in three times. And then go ahead and grab your knee and circle the ankle. 
and then we straighten. And on the third one, we're going to straighten that bent leg, making sure I'm keeping that bent leg in parallel. And then straighten both. And grab that leg. Try not to bend the knees at all if you can do it. Even if the leg's far away, that's okay. And same leg across. And that IT band right here. And then open up to the side. And using this arm to counterbalance. And bring it in. And bend both legs. And turn it out. And I'm just going to send the knee across the leg, and I'm getting that little glute underneath. Those are those rotators that we were working on. We did that turn in, turn out exercise last week. And then what I'm going to do is put that bent leg down, and now I'm going to, in a very slow, controlled way, I'm going to lower that leg, making sure that I do it really slowly. Don't just let it fall. It's Turned out right now, I'm going to turn it back in and then both legs. Then I'm going to do the same thing I just did on the other leg. In this case, now I'm doing my right. I started with my left. So we do three of these presses, press the heel forward, bring it in and circle the ankle, and bend it straight. Straighten both legs. I picked a bad spot for the staring straight to my overhead leg. I should move over. But I think it's not a perfect camera angle, so I'm just going to stay close. I'm going to send it across and now open it up to the side. Again, I'm using this arm here to counterbalance so that I don't let it go all the way. And I'm just trying to get an inner thigh stretch on that leg that I'm lifting. I hope you can hear me okay. Let me know if not. And bend and straighten. And then I'm going to turn it out, send it across, bring this leg in. And uh, stretching those rotators. Go ahead and release it and slowly develop that leg in a nice, slow, controlled way. That turned out leg. And then we're bring it back in. And from here, we're just going to drop, if you have room, drop the knee and just do a little swing. And from here, let's go ahead and just get ready up. And I'm going to do that whole thing today, but I think what we'll do is we'll do our stretching against the wall. Uh, first, let's just do a few down here. Oh, glad you got made me sleepy. That happens sometimes. And then we'll stretch the other leg, and again, you can stretch it across and keep it, just keep it right down here, but I like to lift the leg. And I like to turn the leg in. When I turn it in, I get the outer calf muscles. If I do it straight on and parallel, then I get the right behind the calf muscle, which I probably should do a little bit that too. And from here, let's just do one stretch forward. And then we'll stand up on our feet and we're going to do parallel seconds. Um, parallel second reaching over. My floor is a little, I'm not getting very good traction for this one, so I need to do the mat or something. And 
And it's good to put the hands forward and keep the um, weight on the outer edge of the hands like that. And just come on in. And we're going to go ahead and do your um, doorway stretch and then join me for a stretch against the wall. I'm just going to do that one a little bit earlier, but the one where you get in the doorway. Or if you don't have a doorway handy, you can just do this one. I'm going to come over and do my quad stretches and my, I should start my quad stretch and do this one. Um, don't let me forget the psoas stretch. I think I skipped over that one last time, possibly. And another good um, way, if you don't have a doorway and you want to get those the pecs that we stretch out in the doorway, I have to be careful because I have a nail right here. But um, you can just basically put your hand flat against the wall behind you and angle yourself so that it feels the right height. And you can do one arm at a time. This is a good one when you, you know, like if you're in the studio and you just want to do a quick stretch, but you don't want to stand in the doorway because people are trying to go in and out and stuff like that. So I'll just put my arm here. And do it like this. That feels so good. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as I do it so that I get the most out of it. That strengthens those, those muscles in the back and also stretches out the pecs in the front. If you have a foam roller, you can lie on the foam roller and put your arms in like goalpost shape and just let the pet, the, let the weight of gravity open up your shoulders as well. Um, so we're gonna do our lunge stretch against the wall. And if, again, if you're in parallel, you're gonna get the back of the calf muscles. If it's more the peroneal, the outer edge of the calf muscles, then just turn it out slightly and you'll get those. I do both, with both of my, my calf muscles are tight everywhere. So go ahead and switch when you're ready. But I would say my peroneals are much worse, so I always spend one more time on those. Those are the outer calf muscles. We did our quad stretch already. Now I'm going to do the special peroneal. I hope uh, stretch. I hope you can see it. I'm going to step over the bridge of my foot and press my heel down to the floor. That, is, that one's a little hard to see, but you know, just do the just do the lunge one if you're not sure what I'm doing. It's okay. This one is a really intense peroneal stretch, um, and my my leg needs that before I start dancing. And I'm not going to forget the psoas stretch. So we're going to do our lunge. The leg that's behind, I take that arm and I reach away from that straightened leg towards the lunged leg. And I'm tilting my side body so that I can get this whole area right here, which is your, your psoas muscle. Which, if you're sitting and typing your papers and things like that, that muscle gets very tight when you're sitting for a long time. So it's a good one to stretch every day if you can. Again, switching sides and reaching away. And I'm just going to do one more calf stretch on this side because that calf is particularly tight today. So go ahead and do whichever one you really need to do, whichever place felt the tightest for you. And then actually I'm going to do one more, which is I'm going to put my toes against the wall and my heel, and I'm just going to bend the legs slightly against the wall. I hope you can see past my chair. What I'm doing. Yeah, it's visible. And you just bend slightly, only just the tiniest little bit. And that gets a nice calf stretch. And again, slightly turned out or parallel, depending on what part of the calf muscle feels tight. Good to do a piece of it. You have a pillow of some kind. And we're just going to do that. 
Sing on all fours. Again, placing your hands right under the shoulders, just like you would align your feet under your hips and your shoulders and all of that. And a little more weight on the outer edge towards the pinky of the hands. That will, that will activate your scapula to do the work. So it's not using your arm muscles. And we're just going to go up and arch and up and arch. And do that a few times just to kind of get that part of the back moving. Because it can get kind of stiff when we're not active. You know, so this is a good way to, if I start to feel my back muscles are stiff right here, I'll stretch my psoas and um, I've got a pop up thing going. Okay, there we go. I'll stretch my psoas and I'll do this exercise. And then what we're going to try to do is to get down nice and low, and you can see this okay, and reach forward. And to the side. And to the other side. I like to do this one right on my bed in the morning. Feels really good first thing in the morning. And it's easier than trying to figure out how to navigate on the pillow. And then we're going to do thread the needle, which we're just going to send this right through. If you're familiar with yoga, you've maybe done that before. And the goal is to try and get your head kind of close to the really down to the floor. That's a pretty intense stretch. Okay, there. So that's what we call in yoga, they call it thread the needle, because you're going right through. That. And uh, just a few more little stretches while we're down here. I'm going to do one more stretch where I lift the leg. And you can keep it down here or lift it. Oops. I keep going back to this one because it just stretches out that tight, tight leg muscle for me. That's a good one. And feel free to do any other stretch that we've done that you just felt like, oh, that was tight. Go back and revisit that real quick. For me, that's this one. And next, we'll get up on our feet and we'll do our plies. And I think we'll just do, because we're at 730 already, just so warming up. So, We'll just do one on each in each position parallel and first and second. So that's not a very good angle. Since I switched the room around, it takes me a minute to get the right angles for this. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, here we go. We're going to stretch up and knees curving forward. Any plie. Come up nice and tall through the spine to side stretch. And the other side. And coming up and open and plie parallel to the upper back arch. And we're just going to do a simple rise up. Now we're going to rock back on our heels and find our, our turnout rotation. Remember, that's got to come from the hip, not from twerking the foot beyond the knee. And we're just going to stretch up nice and tall. Release and curve forward. Down the plie. Coming up nice and tall, and we'll do side stretch to the other side. And side. And plie. And open. 
and clean. Straighten the legs, arch back, and just an easy rise up onto the toes as we bring the arms down. And we'll go ahead and do second position and stretching up and release, curving forward, demi plie, and side. Side and plie and open, plie, straight legs and arch and rise onto the toes. And now, as I did those plie, I could feel a little sensation in the front of my knee, which tells me that my quad on that leg is very, very tight. So I'm going to do my quad stretch, but I'm also going to um, activate the glute muscles right under here and do um, that because that's going to give me a little extra quad stretch. I'm going to try and pull the knee back as far as I can go. Because every time I bend my knees, I have knee pain because my quads are tight. So if you ever feel like you're getting pain in the front of the knee, try stretching your quads. It might just make that go away. All right, let's see how the tape feels now. Oh yeah, better. Still a little tight, but much, much better. So now that now we're all stretched out, take a quick sip of water before we'll, we'll start right into the phrase because we've got less, less than a half an hour. All right. Do a quick time check. All right, and we're going to start with a quick review. So now this is the phrase that folks are going to send me for the final exam. And this is the whole phrase, and we're going to add the triplet on at the end. So we're going to step back, right arm, I'm doing the right arm and right leg. The same arm and same leg goes back, and we bring the arm back as we step to it. Then we come back to neutral, same thing. I'm going to plie the standing leg and reach across and step together. So from there, let's see, let me just do this one more time. Stepping back, stepping forward, and then this arm comes with it. I go to a plie standing and I join the hands and I do my figure eight. So basically, that just feels like a little, like that. We join the hands together, I'm in plie, I straighten the legs on the top, and I plie as I come down. From there, we bring the arms back to the side. It's opposite the first arm that we did, so on this side. Then we're going to walk in a circle as we bring the arms up and down. And from here, arm and leg shoots back. Let's go back that far from the beginning. So, and remember, you're going to try and memorize this. So, and for those at home who are watching, I want you to memorize it and not be looking at the video of me doing it. Because I can hear, when people send me videos, I can hear myself in the background doing the moves while they're watching me do it. So this is <laughs> off, book, off book, off video, whatever you want to call it. So you're really going to memorize the phrase itself. So here we go. Stepping back, same arm and same leg, step to it. And same arm and same leg, step to it. And join the hands. And figure eight. And demi plie. I'm going to walk in a circle. And I'm in the plie as I do this. I keep my knees bent nice and soft. From here, we get back to neutral. I'm gonna, that same arm and leg that stepped at the beginning, I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna shoot it forward as I shoot that leg back. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna step, and we're gonna step, and step. I kind of straighten my legs a little bit in that third step so that I can do that little twirl. Let's go over that one more time. So arm back, and I'm trying to do it like in a sharp quality there. And then step in, and here, and all the way around. So it's about three steps. 
I'll show you that from the side so you can see what I'm doing. Here, step, step, and twirl so that I come to vertical, but I'm facing the front. From here, I'm going to do a lunge to either side. I'm going to start with that same arm and leg. I'm going to go that way. So from there, I'm going to lunge onto it. I put the weight right on there so that I can lift that back leg because that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to pass through the front, see front as I go, and I'm spotting the front for a brief second there. Then I'm going to lunge on that left leg. From here, I'm going to get away from my radiator so I won't hit my foot. From here, all you have to do is bring everything up and that leg's coming behind. And it's coming directly behind the front leg. Because I'm going to arch back and I want to lean my weight on that back leg. Let me show you that from the side. So I'm going to lunge and lunge. This is the side view and go to here. And then, whoops, where do I go? Then go back. And then from there, I'm just going to do the triplet. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Remember that triplet we did way back at the beginning of the semester? That was the down, up, up, we travel. And you can do the triplet in place. If you don't have any space, you can do it right in place. You can just do down, up, up, down, up, up, barely traveling at all. But if you have the room, go ahead and do down, up, up, down, up, up. I'm going to angle that more on my feet so you can see better because I'm not really doing anything with my arms when I do the triplet. So down, up, up, down, relevé, relevé, plié, relevé, relevé. So you're just going to do one on each leg. All right, so that's the whole thing. That's the whole final exam. Let's go through the whole thing from beginning to end. But before we do, do you guys have any questions? Fred? All right, so from the beginning, this is the whole thing you're going to do for the final from beginning to end. Reach back and reach side. Join the hands. Figure eight. Plie, walk in a circle. Arms go up and come down. About eight steps all together. And then arm shoots forward, leg shoots back. That's the same arm and leg you started with. Go under it, three steps around. Then from here, get your weight centered and grounded. I've got either weight on both. Plie to the lunge. And I just let my arms swing nice and loose. Plie to the lunge. And then up, my leg is behind. And I'm gonna do that arch we do in the plie at the beginning of the class, but I'm just leaning back into that a little bit. Now we're just gonna finish with a triplet. Plie, relevé, relevé, plie, down, up, relevé. up, down, up, up at the end. That's the whole thing. Let's practice that a bit more. And then for those of you that are here with me, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go a few more times through. And step. Try to get in the flow. So keeping it moving. Figure eight. And plie, walk in a circle. Arm comes down, and arm and leg go under it. Ground your weight, and lunge, and lunge, and up, arch, and triplet. Down, up, up, down, up, up. That's the whole thing. So if you're going to write this down to practice at home, I'll just sort of call out the movements as we go. So reaching forward and back, step back, reach inside, step together, hands join, figure eight, up and overhead, demi plie, walk in a circle. Eight steps and then arm shoots forward. Go under it, demi plie, lunge, and lunge to leg behind, and arch. Down, up, up, down, up. Go to the back for that arch, 
step the leg behind, and I don't know if that's been visible, uh, if I've done that where the camera's low enough to see it. But when you go lunge, look good, lunge, look good, this leg goes behind. Then when you arch, go ahead and try that one. You have a little support back there behind you for when you go back so it doesn't, you don't feel it in the lower back. Those quads always need a little help. And I use an arm for balance. That helps me see. And I'm going to try to keep my knees as close together as I can. And twist. And twist front. There we go. Good. We're just going to do a little side stretch. So while I'm doing the stretch, I'm just going to go over. You're going to Send me your essay. I sent an email Sunday morning. Send me your essay after you've watched the 30 minute new video of, of a little bit about modern dance. And tell me if your definition of modern dance has changed throughout the semester and how. And there's a number of questions in there you can use to write your essay. Just one paragraph. Let's go ahead and bring the arms behind. And go ahead and cross. And then let's stand up and we'll do the other side. So get the other quad and use the balance, keeping the knees parallel, don't let it sneak out too much. See if you can feel your foot that you're standing on spreading out through the, in the floor, helping your balance. And go ahead and lunge. And let's hit that so as while we're there. I forgot to do that, but never hurts to get an extra so I stretch in and we'll go ahead and twist to the back. And twist to the front. And then let's go ahead and reach both legs forward. And just keep breathing. As I do a stretch, it's always good to exhale on the stretch. And see if you can just go a little further. I'm trying to really fold this area here and, and put my chest right on my thighs as close as I can. And you can reach across in the opposite direction. And let's go ahead and finish with a few little arm and elbow stretches. And mine are really tight, which is why <laughs> I'm not reaching very far across, but you might be able to get further across if you have more flexibility, mind you. And I'm going to reach my arm in front. Reach in front. Failing. And I think that's, that's good for today. All right, I'm going to take the sound out just to remind all the students to do your modern dance essay due Friday at 9 a.m. It's your last written assignment. All right, so thank you for a wonderful semester. It's been such a pleasure getting to know all of you. I look forward to getting your essay on Friday at 9 a.m. And I look forward to um, seeing your final exam videos. Um, I, if you're having trouble submitting the video, just email me because I have a way that I'll set up the Zoom so you can come right on the Zoom and do it just like logging into class. So uh, email me about that and I'll give you the instructions if you're having trouble submitting it through Dropbox or a YouTube link or send me, um, if you're sending an MOV file from your iPhone, Dropbox is the best way for me to view it because unfortunately my computer, my PC won't view Mac files very easily. So Dropbox would be the best way to do that. Um, the other thing is make sure you submit your essay on Friday, the new essay about modern dance. And um, then that completes our semester once I get your final exam. The final exam is due Wednesday, the last day of classes is when we always do our final. The final exam video from this class is due by the 12th at 9 a.m. And that's your final exam worth 20% of your grade. So make sure you submit that. 
Um, what else did I want to tell you? So just be sure and have a great summer. Oh, um, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, the YouTube channel will stay up there. The classes will stay up there. I'm also doing a Wednesday night class, which I'll probably put the videos up there. So if you want to keep doing class just for the exercise or whatever, you're more than welcome to view those free videos on my YouTube channel. Do me a favor, at the end of this class, just go in the little corner, there's a little red subscribe button. Do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel, I would really appreciate that. We're, I just hit 200 subscribers, so I'm trying to build a YouTube channel so that people can view more free videos. So you can look at those anytime over the summer if you get the urge to have a little exercise. So have a great summer and it's been a pleasure. Take care.